I mean, the famous you know, Thomas Kuhn structure of scientific revolution is sort of, you know, predicated on uh, periods of normalcy, uh, you know, supplanted by periods of crisis when facts don't agree with uh, with with, uh, um, you know, kind of the accepted paradigm. And that leads to so-called paradigm shift. But these, he said, can last for decades, generations, you know, lifetimes. And, um, you know, I wonder if layering in, you know, it's like options pricing, right? I mean, options are, you know, you, you, you have to get the price direction and the time scale, right? So I'm wondering if, if, if we're on balance, um, not really capable of doing such a thing in physics where, you know, the direction the field should take, and you're in the time scale that's commensurate with tenure with. Somebody's got to step in and rescue the community from itself. And it has to be somebody with money. And, and to be honest, I think Bezos was a physics major at Princeton, or at least he was starting out in that di- direction. Elon Musk was one at the University of Pennsylvania. Jim Simons, the most successful hedge fund manager in the world. And has given a lot. Like, we're too tied to what doesn't work. If you think about string theory, string theory mopped up most of the best minds uh, during our time, and it doesn't work. And I don't. When I say it doesn't work, I don't mean that we didn't learn anything from it. It wasn't inspiring. I don't mean that we should throw away the ideas. I don't mean that it won't eventually um, be part of something. But it doesn't work to find the theories we need. And if you can't say that, which is terrifying. I mean, you know, wh- who am I to say that Ed Witten doesn't know what he's doing? But Ed Witten, as a leader of the field, as opposed to a researcher, took way too many resources in one particular direction, wasn't able to make his bid. And right now, those very wealthy people need to save this field, and they need to build FU money into the field so that individuals don't have to knuckle under. Brian, here's my problem. I don't want to keep saying this, and most of what I do I don't like, which is correcting people. GU is doing fine. It is being listened to. I'm in constructive conversations. I want to, I want to speed it up. I want to have conversations that I need to be having. We, We need to be having conferences. We need to be, you know, having multiple. I don't want to take all the resources that were in strings and become the same thing for GU. I want us to spread out, get active, get excited, and it's time to save everybody else because they can't save themselves. Everyone else is frozen in place, turning on the news to find out whether or not they've got a new virus or a, a nuclear threat from Eastern Europe. It's crazy. 